Hey everyone, it's back. Shogeki no Soma is back. Here is the first episode of season two. How did I feel about it? Honestly, back at it again with the dang food gasms, getting me my mouth all watery. It still got that great feeling. And this is pretty crazy because um, I actually haven't reviewed an anime on my channel where I've, you know, been ahead on the manga. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times I choose to read the manga after watching an anime um, just because I like to see how the anime is in terms you know before because usually the manga is always better and I like to have a different grasp on when I you know read the manga but this one I ended up not knowing if there was going to be a season two for Shogeki no Soma so I decided you know let's go you know read the manga and right now as of this moment I have caught up all the way to this so I already know everything that's going to happen already in this so it's it's definitely a different type of view for me at the moment um the episode overall we go straight into the action there's no you know normally when you get into these kind of a new season of something there's always some kind of like flashbacks or like just you know showing what happened in the last season all that kind of stuff recaps that's what i was going for almost uh, like literally just like uh what is the word i'm thinking of yes recaps this one, nope, we don't need that crap. If you guys want to recap, go watch the first episode. That's how I, I mean, you know, last season, that's how I always feel about recaps. But overall, we go straight into the action, though this episode did feel kind of fast paced and I'm kind of scared on how it will be later on because one of the reasons that I love this anime, not just because of the characters, not just because of the food or the craziness of this, you know, the style of this anime, but also because of seeing how like there's so many preparation going into this or seeing how someone can be so you know like for instance megumi can be like she's so scared all the time and then all of a sudden she gathers up this courage for certain episodes for example what they didn't put in this though they did at least mention it was when soma and megumi went to go to um see the kids and you know have the whole they it was pretty much to help them that's what they went there for and of course it did help Soma as you saw he was able to use the snack kind of thing and make those little naughty bomb balls thing so that was pretty cool to see that they at least put that in there along with other things as well though I'm scared in the future if they'll put all the kind of preparation all that kind of stuff that we've seen in the manga to build up to that episode I'm kind of scared if they won't put that in because they only have 13 episodes in this season instead of 24 like they did in the first. That kind of, I'm, I'm kind of sad at that and I kind of wish that they did get 24. There's always 12 or 13 episodes for an anime is always just way too little bit, especially when you come from 24 episodes of the first season. And I'm wondering if they're just trying to like, you know, do an episode every episode there'll be a match every episode and finish it in that episode which in my opinion I don't really enjoy that much like that I kind of want it to be <clears throat> you know expand more on the battles expand more on you know how they got there and everything like maybe a couple episodes per battle at least but that's not gonna happen because there's only 13 episodes and it looks like they just want to finish this whole arc maybe the next arc obviously not the arc after that because that arc is gigantic um so maybe that will be like a potential third season depending on how well this season does uh, but overall it was still a really good you know episode i still enjoyed it straight into the action straight into everything going on seeing the battle scene alice versus soma it was still you know just like in the manga it still had that same feeling it was still awesome seeing all of the judges get food gasm seeing you know the the um Principal headmaster, I don't know what they call him. I forget. Um, seeing his famous whoosh, taking off his shirt thing, showing his chest and everything. That's you know, I they didn't really, did they explain that in the first one in the first season? I don't even know if he he wasn't even a judge in the first season. That's why it was such a big thing in this one. If you guys see him do that, that me if they didn't explain that, I'm kind of like kind of forgetting what happened in the first season. But if he you see him do that. That's really good. That means he loved your dish, and that's like a famous kind of thing for him doing. So it was pretty cool to see that in action, um, seeing everyone 
you know, everyone's reactions is always awesome to see. Everyone always looking down at Soma, and bam, he comes out of nowhere with this kind of stuff. And bam, of course, he does end up winning, as you saw in this, because, you know, obviously, his dish had a whole bunch of different things to it, not just, you know, what's it called? Alice's could have just been, a, you know, just could have been for a sushi one instead of just a bento. And even though hers did taste good, and, you know, her with all her crazy, you know, pretty much chemistry things going on, so much and and still won. You saw all the reactions from the judges. I always love seeing that kind of stuff, and that like that's like the main thing I always love seeing the reactions of them, and kind of like, I mean, it would be pretty cool to see reactions of other people eat as well. That's why I always I like, not gonna lie, I do watch some cooking shows every once in a while, like Chopped and stuff like that, and seeing the reactions of people eating the food, seeing the preparation and everything going into it. It's always fun to watch that kind of stuff. So. Overall, for a first episode, definitely pretty damn awesome. Straight into the action, like I said, so so we didn't get any of that kind of boring build-up that sometimes we do get in the first season, though I kind of would have liked to see that. Um, some of the build-up, not just like full-on everything, you know. Um, I get that. There's only 13 episodes, but still, um, it just kind of makes me a little scared that maybe in the future episodes, they will rush those as well and cut things out. That may you know, kind of be, kind of suck that they don't put it in, you know, but hopefully they do it justice still yet. The first episode, even though it did feel a little rushed in the pacing, it was still well done and <laughs> well done. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't do that, Jordan. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> but it was still pretty awesome. I still enjoyed it. Still loved it. And cannot wait to see the next episode as we saw Megumi going against, um, I think it's Kurakibo. I think his name was, I honestly cannot wait to see that battle as well. Um, but yeah, actually, I just can't wait to see all the battles, but you know, for what well, first things first, guys, we got to wait for the next one before we think about the next one. Right. But yeah, Hey guys, I just want to, you know, ask you before I finish this video for all the people who have, have, you know, have read the manga as well. How do you feel this episode has been done? You know, do you think they did it justice? Do you think you would have wanted to see the whole scene with them and the kids there? Maybe they'll actually put more of that with Megumi's. As well so we'll get to see more of that scene because obviously um, Megumi was also there so maybe we'll see you know something for her when she's cooking as well so yeah how do you guys from Margaritas how do you guys feel this first episode was adapted I think there was five chapters adapted in this one episode and anime you know watchers only how do you feel this episode was did you enjoy it going straight back into the action already no delays no recaps or anything how do you guys feel about it that's the big question for me i always like to know how everyone feels the anime side and the manga side and it's pretty cool because i get to interpret both since i have also read the manga this time but yeah that's all i gotta say guys so hope you guys enjoy this anime kingdom review if you have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything i miss and you want to talk about comment below as well and until next time guys see you